Hello, this is Professor Lenis. Welcome to Chemistry with Jose. Today we are going to do a short demonstration on how to make dry ice. Before we start, let's remember some safety precautions. We need to have the proper PPE, personal protection equipment, to work in a chemistry lab. Here we have approved safety goggles, disposable gloves, and lab coat. Button up. Let's start with the demonstration. Here we have a cylinder filled with compressed CO2. This is the device that's going to help us during the process. I'll start opening this bulb. And then I make sure this is locked and I will start opening this valve slowly and you, you will hear some noise. So this is decompressing from high pressure to atmospheric pressure. That also reduces the temperature. And CO2 gas will freeze. And that's what we call the dry ice. I have a homework for you. Do you remember how to call the process This physical state or physical process when you change from solid to gas directly without passing through the liquid state. Do you remember that? Search, it's a homework. We need to do this in a slow process. It's going to take some, you will hear some noise, that means it's done. Like that. Now we close this bulb and open this one. Look, dry eyes. This is what we call dry ice. This is just solid, pure CO2. Another question. What is the freezing point of dry ice right now? It's very cold. Let me tell you this. The freezing point is negative 78.5 degrees Celsius. How many Fahrenheit are those? So, two questions. First, what is the name of the physical change from solid to gas without passing through the liquid state? Notice that the dry ice is going to gas. Let me see if you can see it here. Can you see the gas there? And I don't see a liquid. There's no liquid. Directly from solid to gas. What is the name of the process? We close this one. We lock this down and close the main bulb and it's ready for the next experiment. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next experiment.